Hi there, Sam here and welcome to another video in the Creating Your Project series. In this video we'll run through how you can add keywords to your project. To get started I need to be in the rank tracking part of the platform which I can find under keywords here. As you can see I don't have any keywords in my Boohoo project right now but adding in terms is really easy. All I need to do is click on add keyword which will bring up this pop out. This pop out is ideal for adding keywords one by one or in small batches. In the first box I can type out or paste in keywords into a list like this. Mapped page refers to the target URL. This is the web page that I want to show up when people are searching for my keyword in the likes of Google. By letting the platform know which pages I want to target with a keyword, it allows Authoritas to then provide insights into cannibalization and other areas. We will look at this in more detail in another video. Notice that when I input the map page, I don't include any protocol. Instead we have this checkbox which I can toggle on or off in order to tell the platform whether my map page has an HTTPS status or not. The last option here is to add tags to the keywords at the time uploading. Everything you need to know about tags is covered in our Show Me in Filters video from the Monitoring Your Keywords series. For now it is important to know that there is no limit to the amount of tag groups that a keyword can belong to, so feel free to implement the structure that best suits your requirements. Now I could go ahead and add these keywords with these settings by clicking here. However, if I wanted to add a large number of keywords in bulk then this is also supported. By hitting this import keywords link I'll be taken through to this screen. As you can see there's an option to download an example CSV and if I go ahead and do that then I get this file. The first two columns here we have already seen and they work in the same way as the pop out that we were just looking at. As for the next few columns, they are largely self-explanatory. Check frequency lets me decide how often the rankings for keywords are updated, with a choice between daily and weekly. Match indicates whether the keyword I am adding already matches an existing one in the platform. Having exact here tells the Forotas to overwrite any data for that existing keyword with the information that I upload in the CSV file. In country, I need to provide the two-letter country code for the region that I am going to be tracking the keywords in. Engines is for the search engine that I want to use, with a default choice between Google, Bing and Yahoo. In our adding search engines video, we talked about how the platform supports geo-specific locations, down to postcode or zip code level. This geo column works in the same way and I can input a specific location, such as London, to have my keywords rank checked in that city. In the same way, I can set the language by putting in the two letter code, in this case EN for English. We support more than 100 different countries, each with full language support. Authoritas automatically provides monthly average search volume and CPC values, but if I would prefer to provide my own metrics, all I need to do is include these custom values in the columns here. Geo volume relates to the geo column, in that if I am interested in focusing in on a specific location, such as London, then I can include a search volume for London here if I want. And then there are room for 20 tags. The last column is CTR config. Authoritas has two off the shelf CTR models, brand and non brand, as well as the option to build your own custom models. This column allows me to say which model the keyword belongs to, which would have an impact on how Authoritas calculates traffic and media values. Don't worry about this too much right now, as we'll cover all of this in later videos. So the finished CSV will look something like this when it's done. It's worth noting that I can leave columns blank if I don't need them. For example, I could leave country search volume and CPC columns empty if I'm happy to use the automated data from the platform. Once the sheet is complete, all that's left is to import it. Make sure that the file is in UTF-8 format, especially when using special characters beforehand. I get taken through to this prep screen, where I need to designate the columns in order to help the platform understand how to upload the data properly. I just select the relevant option from the drop down and if there isn't one then it can be left as not set. Then it's a case of taking care of the last few options, selecting yes here so that my column headers are not uploaded as keywords, and then we're done. 
These keywords will be added to the platform shortly, with wait time depending on the number of keywords uploaded. Once in, all new keywords will automatically go into the rank tracking queue and you can expect to receive your first data point for these within a 24 hour window. And that's it, be sure to check out step 5, configuring integrations next, as well as the other videos in this series to help get your project up and running quickly and effectively. To learn more or to ask any questions, feel free to reach out using the details provided at the end of this video. See you!